I come from Singapore. I studied to be a vet in Australia. Came out to Thailand to be the vet. Excellent. So uh, where, where are we right now? Um, currently, we are at our main pack. Uh, these are all street dogs that live up Black Mountain. And they come um, to us for food because it's not much they can scavenge off the street. And uh, how many dogs do you have? Um, in this pack, we have uh, 180 or so. Um, we have another 60 that we we keep in a fenced area because they have a tendency to cross the road and get into a lot of accidents. We have 30 in our recovery facility. It's just a makeshift building, but it's the best that we have out here. We have a small pack up there of 10 and one at Khao Tao Temple of 30. So. How long have you been here now? I've been here for 13 weeks. So uh, where are we going? What, what are we up to? We're gonna go get some dog food and then we're going for a feeding run. Um, we're gonna <clears throat> do some treatments as well for parasites. And then we're going to go see one of the dog shelters. Three of the dogs that we're going to see later on at the shelter, there's our spinal cases. Um, one of them was slashed by a knife um, across its back three years ago and it had damaged its spinal cord and um, it's not really getting the care it requires and it's just deteriorating but because of the Buddhist way of thinking maybe they're not happy to put it down seeing that you know it's still eating so where are we going right now? We're gonna get food for the dog. All right. So then we're gonna go feed them. Uh, yep. Okay. We're trying to feed the dogs, but most of them seem to be missing, or that, or it's just too hot for them to come out right now. Um, we're missing a lot of our original dogs because they're being captured and taken to a different facility. And it's just very frustrating because you're not getting the care that they really should be getting out there and they're just being shut up which is... I can't decide if it's worse or better than being out in the soil, really. This is one of the areas where Joel and Yaku do the feeding run so they befriend the dogs so that they become less people shy so that they are able to be treated and then eventually be sterilized and get the whole package and vaccinated and everything but then now because we're losing these dogs they're just being shifted from one place to another not necessarily getting what they need so I've noticed that you've started naming the dogs yeah we have and they're just like really oh I can't really say this like the, the most perfect names but it's just easy recognizable one so this was Devil Dog, but Devil Dog's looking so much better now that we almost can't call it Devil Dog anymore. This Devil Dog was completely covered in mange, the face and everything. I mean, the skin was almost like all crunched up. But look, he's actually getting fur now. Everything on the face has been cleared up and it's got a beautiful personality, this dog. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually, we're going to not invest money on buying them collar collars because the people just steal the collars. Oh, this is a nice dog with a nice collar, so they steal it. Um, but we're going to get like just threads fabric and then we're going to put that washer with a, with, a, with a number on it. So we started at 001, so that gives us a thousand dogs to work with. So um, we'll get to the fabric shop and then all of these will start getting their collars on, elasticated with their number on it. Then that number will correspond with a picture, will correspond with a name, will correspond with stuff that had already treatment that's already been given to them and then what still needs to be done so that when the next once the next vet comes over we have a like a plan it's set in place where they will just take off and say okay they've got the whole record of that dog um, this is what's been done this is what needs to be done uh, in the future so Jackie what are you doing here so um, I'm just growing up the medications for the dogs that are under our care it's just the parasite treatment and preventative the temper is, is like on the increase. Is that uh, one of the major problems that we face? It now? is the major problem, I think. Other than 
you know, as far as it, as a, as a, as a, as a dog disease, I think distemper is the major thing that we're facing. And the other big issue that we're facing is is um, is finding suitable places for dogs that are uh, infected that could possibly recover, but we don't have a recovery or an isolation area. And that becomes a huge problem now because um, there are dogs that we can actually help, but these dogs are being put up with dogs that have Provis or Distemper, so they just get sick anyway. There's no isolation or recovery area. So Joel, what are, what are some of the main problems that we're facing out here? Out here? I think the main problem really is that our dogs are going missing. Mm -hmm. A lot of the dogs have been um, taken into the rescue center, and although that might sound good, the fact that the rescue center doesn't really do anything with the dogs, makes it pointless. Right. Yeah. But other than that, um, I'd say the main issue is parasites, whether it's blood parasites or um, external parasites right. or worms. Um, which that's, is all, that's all treatable stuff. That's, yeah, it's very it's treatable. treatable. That's the thing. Yeah. It's very treatable and we're trying to have a standardized regime for all these animals to give them the parasite care that they need so that they're well enough to go for stuff like vaccination, sterilization. Cool. So, Jackie, you're about to be leaving after uh, quite a bit of time here. You've been a huge inspiration and, uh, and you've done a whole lot for us. We're still looking for volunteers. What advice would you have for them? And uh, why should volunteers come and help out? I think volunteers are really needed. Um, we want these dogs to be friendly enough that we can carry out the work of sterilization, improving their lives, giving them food and medical attention that they need. You know, no effort is too small. Just come in and give them a bit of love. And um, it will really make a big difference in every single one of these dogs. As you can see, we are making lots of progress with the living conditions of these stray dogs in Thailand. However, the challenge to improve the living conditions for them is enormous. There is so much that can be done. Together, with your help and participation, we can continue to make a difference for a better future for these animals. On top of financing the operating costs, equipment, and nutrition for the Street Dog Rescue and Rehabilitation Program, the Global Work and Travel Co. is also paying for or contributing to the return airfares for motivated vets or vet students who want to help and volunteer on this project. To get more information and hear how you can join the forces, contact your local global office today.